Once an offer is made, there's a reason why it's called an offer. They're offering it to you. It doesn't mean you have to take it as it's written. Taking an offer is a major decision. And so I always recommend take a beat. You never have to accept the first offer, ever. And I think people feel sort of not right about, you know, pushing back on that first offer, like I don't want the job, but that really isn't an indication at all. The offer is about your value. My advice would be do some homework, even if it's taking 30 minutes and run some Google searches to see what others in that area make, or seek advice of some other working adult in your life, go to a career center and find out what the comparable salaries are so you don't underprice yourself. What you want to do is you want to evaluate the job, things like the location, the salary, and is a salary going to be something that's commensurate with where I might be moving? If you're moving to New York City, New York City is very expensive relative to Denver, Colorado. So you'd want to factor that in. Say you are interviewing for a couple different jobs and you can also use that leverage. This company is willing to give me this. Are you willing to match that? or the cost of living in you know, California is higher than Arizona, so would you be able to, um, you know, to give me a, a higher salary to adjust to the cost of living of uh, moving to that area? Don't undervalue yourself, because you never know how long you're gonna be with that organization. If you start low, you're gonna end lower than where you could have possibly been. What I would encourage people to do is, in a polite way, see if there's any room for an increase in the salary. A poor strategy is to demand a certain salary because if you're going to ask for something, the first thing as a manager I'm gonna reply with is, well, why are you asking?